Hello guys. Now we're going to talk about a pixel story, a pixel art and in video games. Uh, because I think it's really important that if you are going to be a part of the industry and you want to create your own art, to know what are the possibilities that are expanding to you at this moment. And in games that are totally different to AAA games, it is important to know where they come from and where they are going. So let's talk about this subject for some minutes. The first is the origin of everything, which is this master, which was uh, Tomohiro Nishikado, which was the creator of Space Invaders, which was a reference of game for many of us in the beginning. This was a game that was released for Atari, and the basic idea was creating some characters that might look some like as spiders or crabs, and as you can see, the definition of the characters were just in simple pixels. What was amazing about this experience was that he created these characters with just a very constrict information in the smallest amount of, of pixels, and then they put it, he put it into a grand mechanic. His inspiration, of course, was this, this guy, the George Lucas, in a galaxy far, far away. So, Mr. Michikado, Michikado, I'm sorry, decided to, I want to take a notebook uh, with squares on it, and let me start drawing what will be these characters, these enemies that we are going to confront, these space invaders. Once the, the era of a space invaders started into these big cabinets, um, this was this guy, Nolan Bushnell, the creator of Atari, that put it into a cassette that you are going to, to insert into this console, this very simple console, and uh, titles like Space Invaders explode around the world and make this company to become one of the most important and reference co uh, companies in the gaming industry ever. A reference that sadly in time has been kind of getting extinguished, but for all of us that enjoy the, the, uh, the games in this console, is something that we always have to remember overall when we decided to work in pixel art or games in pixel art. This is one of my favorite games ever, which was designed by Warren Robinet. It is called Adventure. Adventure was a game desi designed for Atari X specifically, and here you can see, well, first this beautiful image uh, which was the, the the portrait of the of the of the game of the box of the game, and here you can see how in a very few pixels this guy created one of the most amazing adventures, literally in the in the industry for that moment. What you're seeing here, if you put a lot of imagination, is a dragon, and this guy, this this thing, this yellow point, yellow pixel that you're seeing here, this is the hero. So today we can create a lot more. We have a lot more possibilities. But the, what I want to present to you is that you need two elements to create a great game today, which is the graphics that you can do a lot more today with pixel art. And the second thing is what is the argument of your game? How you're going to make your game really terrific? This guy, as you can imagine, is the creator of one of the greatest games ever, Pac-Man. Toru Iwatani, he idealized this, he, he created, sorry, he he made the idea of creating this game with something that started with a pizza, a cut with a, of a pizza, 
uh, to design uh, his own first character, the, the, the player character of this game. And in the original um, design of these characters, you have, as you can see here, the enemies, which are the ghosts. And here is the hero. Note that the hero, it doesn't even have an eye. It's just like a pizza trying to eat some ghosts or some cookies around. It's very important that what is the magnificent idea of Pac-Man It's a game, the, the possibility, the, the experience that the gamers will have and that enjoy and makes them play the game again and again and again. Then we have a new generation of consoles, which comes with the Nintendo. With Nintendo, they have the possibility of adding more pixels, adding more resolution to the games. And this was Shigeru Miyamoto. This is the responsible for creating nothing else than uh, Mario, the, the, the story of, of Mario. And as you can see, when you are getting close, very close to these characters, you see that the resolution in terms of pixels, there are not so many. And you can create your own games in this same way and play with the camera, with the distance of your camera, and uh, being able to present an excellent experience to any gamer that will try to play your game. But this didn't stop here. Then, with the competition against Mario, we have, of course, Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis added even more resolution to what they have, and the graphics were really more enticing to the to the players and this is one of the most important uh, competitors in that moment to mario which was sonic not this sonic the other sonic and this guy uses this console to create something that was stunning for the moment that has a lot of different animations uh, that has the changing of speed it was a revelation for what will come later in the video game industry. But let's go a bit further, because the previous consoles, we were talking about something that was 20 or 30 years ago. But more recently, we have this kid, Toby Fox, who created a beautiful game called Undertale. And even... When Undertale doesn't have the best quality of graphics in terms of, of pixel art of the characters and so on, Undertale is a fantastic story, a very well-designed story with multiple possibilities to finish the game according to the way that you are playing the game. And what Toby Fox did really, really great was create a brand that differentiates from any other game, even in terms of the budget that he used to create the game. There are many AAA games that hasn't been as successful as this brand. When you have people that, kids that are creating Undertale arts all around, including my daughter, presenting in every place and just spreading the word of a game that was released years ago. And if you can go a bit further, I will present you this game that I really love. Katana Zero was introduced a year ago um, in 2022, if I remember right, or oh, the end of 2021. And uh, these guys, Justin Stander, create a beautiful platformer style, which I love. And everything is designed in pixel art. So what I want to let you know with this information is that if you create a great gaming experience and you add an extra layer of quality in your pixel art, you can have a product that will represent millions of dollars in benefits for you. Let's call it benefits. Uh, and... 
the, what we're trying to present to you with the course that we are introducing is that give you the tools to create these amazing games and you will get all the information that you will require very soon.